This is BBC One. The time now, nine o'clock. There now follows a party political broadcast by the Conservative Party. Johnson. Who is this? Well, you'd better bring it round then. Professor, what's the matter? I don't know. He's here now, Professor. Ah, show him in. Come in, Mr. Brick. I have it here. My God, Professor, what is it? I don't know. I found it in the bird bath last night. Poor birds. Hope it's not eaten many, Professor. Maybe, but I don't know. Is it from outer space, Professor? I don't know. Professor, I'm frightened. What shall we do? I don't know. An alien being? Yes, an alien being. An alien being is from outer space? Yes. But how do you know, Professor? There are many things I know. You see, I'm a very learned man. What are we going to do, Professor? Norman, I don't know. Professor's Diary, 15th of April, 1984. After the initial shock of receiving the alien brain, I have come to the conclusion that whatever it is, it's trying to communicate with us. But at the moment, it's just restricted to sitting there and shaking its tentacles. We must find some way of communication. The tentacles, via my very sophisticated electronic scanning device, then technically, we can communicate. I'm game, Professor. So am I. What is that thing? This is some kind of nuclear fusion. I've contained it within a Xerox compound. It acts as a brain stimulant. But, Professor, you haven't perfected the input functions. Hmm, that is a problem. It's a big chance, but it's a chance we will have to take. How long will it take? I don't know. Well, I'm afraid we've failed. Something just is not right. Wait, maybe if we expose it to gamma rays, it will stimulate the brain? You may have it. But aren't gamma rays dangerous? Not if you don't look directly at the light. Or, for instance, use my 3D glasses I obtained from Rumbleovs. Get your coat, Professor. I have it here. Of course, gamma rays are extremely, extremely dangerous. So when I give the word, you must look away. Everybody brace themselves. Ready? Okay. Look away. Where did you have in mind? We can show our power. 
did you have in mind? A place like our own city. Do you think you can hear me? You can hear me. What did you have in mind? We have heard so much of this place called Wigan. That, that's it, yeah. Oh, Wigan. <laughs>